Well, you know the starts are very, very important in the 500 meters. A lot of tension there. Important to uh, get a good start and lead in that first corner. Safely away this time. And uh, Cheji Hu flying in eighth place after the first round of 1500 meters. Winner of the B final in the Olympics, but uh, won the gold medal four years ago in Lillehammer. So very, very experienced indeed. So Yakovlev uh, down and out. Cheji Hoon leading. So, uh, Cheji Hoon wins it with Yakovlev uh, in second place. Brilliant skate there from uh, Cheji Hoon using all of his experience. Really dominating the race right from the gun. So the uh, lineup for the next race, Mark Gagnon for Canada, right on the outside by the boards. For Holland Davis Stieg, he's on the inside, the world record holder. At this distance, 42.648. Salius Rastakausas for Lithuania, wearing number 6243 is Balash Notch. So safely away, and it's uh, Dave Vestig stayed straight out in front. So Vestig leading, and uh, Mark Gagnon with an awful lot to do in third place, uh, early stages, but uh, just keeping out of trouble. Look at him very wide there, cuts back inside, and uh, Vestig a mistake from him. So Mark Gagnon leading this one. Gagnon out in front. Good performance. Davis Stieg is really down and out, and this uh, a disappointing run for him. He has got an awful lot to do. Half a lap to go. There's no way he's going to make up here. So there it is. Mark Gagnon safely through. Bitter disappointment for Davis Stieg from Holland. The world record holder at this distance out in the first round of the 500 meters. Superb race from Marc Gagnon. Palace Notch for Hungary in second place there. Nonchalant look from Marc Gagnon as they cross the line. Wing Sung Kim there for the Republic of Korea. Michel Antonioli for Italy, Sasha Lauber for Switzerland, and uh, Vincent Volvers. Changed the start list, Vincent Volvers not there for Holland, but uh, out in front for Italy, it's uh, Michel Antonioli. Antonioli lying in 15th place, Dong Sun Kim in third at the moment and uh, ranked number one in the world overall and uh, ranked number one at this distance and uh, he's in second place at the moment but looks very, very relaxed indeed. Switzerland Sasha Lauber really struggling to keep in contention here as the Korean goes through. Dong Sun Kim for the Republic of Korea through in front, the Italian uh, Michel Antonioli in second place and look at the distance between the first two and uh, the Swiss skater Sasha Lauber 
Dong Sung Kim for Korea. Finished in fourth place in the uh, B final in the uh, Winter Olympics in Nagano. Tremendous control here and uh, Antonioli just coasting his way through. So the lineup on the uh, next race, Nikki Gooch for Great Britain on the uh, outside of the track. Rusty Smith on the inside for the United States of America. Next to him, Marcel Prizek from Poland and Bruno Loskos from France. And uh, Nikki Gooch right at the back of the moment, takes a move up the inside, really trying to uh, move up the field into second place wide and loses that. Rusty Smith coming through now. Out in front, it's uh, Prizek for Poland. Rusty Smith in second place. Nikki Gooch with an awful lot to do. Nikki Gooch has got a lot of ground to make up. Rusty Smith in second place. The pole leading. Smith takes a look up the inside and uh, lost cost for France. Making a move now. Two laps to go. Nikki Gooch still with a lot of ground to make up. Still Poland leading. Rusty Smith for the United States in second place. Nikki Gooch right up in there now. And he moves across. Nikki Gooch right out in front on the final lap. And Nikki Gooch with a brilliant final lap there. And a beaming smile, rightly so. Nikki Gooch did everything right. Well, that was a very, very exciting race indeed. Nikki Gooch picks his way right the way through the field on that final lap. Can hardly believe his luck as uh, Rusty Smith goes down. And uh, Gooch makes it. Well, more from the uh, World Short Track Speed Skating Championships at uh, 6.15 Central European time. An hour earlier, of course, in the UK. Coming up next, uh, live cycling from Milan. So later on this evening from myself, it's day two of the championships. And uh, today, we focus our attention on the 500 meters. The... Uh, first round that took place yesterday was the 1500 meters and the situation as we go in today too is that uh, Yang Yang A for China leads with five points a win in the 1500 meters Chun Lu Wang also for China in second place and a brilliant performance from the Bulgarian Evgenia Radanova in third place so uh, on with the action it's the quarterfinal stage of these 500 meters and the lineup in the first quarter final, Debbie Palmer there on the left hand side of your screen. Next to her, Isabel Charest for Canada. Then for China, it's Yang Yang A and Marina Palieva for Russia. Yang Yang A, the uh, reigning world champion. And of course, a leading going into these uh, quarter finals. Palieva the uh, European champion in 94 and 96 on the inside looking for a good start here the start is absolutely crucial and it's Isabel Charé for Canada that goes straight out in front Pelieva for Russia in second place with Yang Yang in third and Debbie Palmer struggling at the moment had a bad fall in the heats did well to get up and qualify in the uh, restart but uh, off the pace here still out in front it's uh, Chere, but a mistake there, and Palieva taking advantage of that, and Yang Yang makes a move right round the outside, so Yang Yang for China out in front, Palieva for Russia in second place, Isabel Chere in third now. Two skaters going through into the semi-finals, at the bell, Yang Yang extending her lead, Isabel Chere for Canada, got a lot to do now, round the final curve, she won't make it, so uh, Palieva goes through with Yang Yang, Marina Palieva, good performance, European champion, 94 and 96, Yang Yang in the lead at the moment and uh, really setting the pace here in this 500 meters. Disappointment for Debbie Palmer, eight times British champion, bronze medalist in the European Championships in 1995 and 96. 
and that's the lineup for the next race. So Yang Yang and Palieva, the first of our qualifiers for the semi-final. The lineup for the next race, it's uh, Yang Yang S for China, lying in eighth place at the moment, silver medalist in the 500 meters in Nagano. Marinella Canclini from Italy, European champion, looking for some valuable points here. Annie Perot for Canada, the Olympic champion at this distance, that's Yang Yang S. Silver medalist in the 500 meters in the Olympics and uh, lying in fourth place at the moment, Yumi Kim for the Republic of Korea. Ranked number four in the world at this distance. Number two to qualify through to the semi-finals. And uh, first, up to the start line, Yang Yang, there's the uh, Korean Yumi Kim. Lying in fourth place. Just to her left, Annie Perot, Olympic champion. Right out by the boards, it's Marinella Canclini, the European champion, looking for a good start, but it's Annie Perot that's uh, straight out in front. Yang Yang in second place. So the Olympic champion leading with the silver medalist in second place. The European champion in third at the moment. Yumi Kim right at the back, but uh, with two laps to go still, Annie Perot out in front. Yang Yang just looking for a way past. So at the bell, a grit of the teeth there from Annie Perot from Canada out in front. Yumi Kim looking for a way up the inside. Yang Yang closes the door, two to go through. Whoa, it's close. Canclini, I think, might have made it. Annie Perot certainly through, but a, a real lunge at the line there from Marinella Canclini just uh, seemed to push Yang Yang and uh, Yuni Kim out of contention. Let's look at that again. You can see Yang Yang there looking for a way past. Annie Perot closing the door. Canclini hot on her heels. Desperately close there, but Canclini closest to the camera there, makes it through. The European champion, very, very close indeed. It's the uh, front of the skate that has to cl cross the line first, and uh, with that lunge there, crossing the finishing line, Marinella Canclini and Annie Perot join Marina Palieva and Yang Yang A in the semi-finals. Two more races to go. That's the lineup for the next race. Yvonne Kunze for Germany, looking for some points here. She's done well to qualify into the quarterfinals. Katia Kulchuri from Italy, lying in 18th place. Another skater looking for valuable points, but uh, they're lying in equal fifth place. Lee Kun Chun for the Republic of Korea, ranked number one in the world rankings overall. And there, Wang Chun Lu for China, lying in second place, ranked number two in the world. So the two favorites by far here. Wang wearing uh, 18 and Chun wearing number 26. And we continue with the next race, which uh, there she is. All safely away the start absolutely crucial in this 500 meters and uh, it's uh, Chun Lu Wang off the quickest and uh, into quite a lead there you can Chun in second place the Italian in third place just keeping her nose ahead of uh, Yvonne Kunza from Germany so Kati Kulciuri in third place there for Italy but uh, the two out in front making this look very, very easy indeed. Chun Lu Wang for China, leading the way with Lee Kyung Chun, hot on her heels at the bell. Well, Kuchuri and Kunta are not gonna make any impression here as uh, Wang and Chun make it look very, very easy indeed. 
with that race, race going to form. So Chun Lu Wang for China winning that one. And, uh, safely through to the semi finals. Lee Kyung Chun for the Republic of Korea in second place. And uh, you feel looking at that, there's plenty more left in the tank from these two. The lineup for the and next the race. Genia Radanova from uh, Bulgaria. Brilliant performance in the 1500 meters yesterday, lying in third place going into the 500 meters. Really in good form. Evelina Rodigari from Italy, lying in 14th, looking for some points here. Haikyung won for the Republic of Korea, equal fifth. There's Radanova. And she really is the talk of the town. There's uh, Haikyong won for Korea. And uh, the final skater from Canada, Tania Vincent. No points for her at the moment. So uh, two ladies four to qualify for the semi finals. Evelina Rodigari, closest to the barrier. Virginia Radinova next to her. And it's Tania Vincent. And uh, on the inside, the Korean, Hai Kyung Wook. Full start there. Field start. Full start for the part. So you can see there the officials just uh, asking people to keep quiet. They've had problems as well here with uh, people in the crowd ringing bells and the skaters not knowing whether they've got onto the final lap or not. Safely away this time and uh, look at that. Evgenia Radanova from Bulgaria straight out in front. Tanya Vincent in pursuit. But she really left the, the rest of the field for dead at the gun. This is impressive stuff from Radanova. Incredible form this weekend in Vienna and uh, Tanya Vincent well there's nothing she can do look at that so uh, Radanova really throwing down the gauntlet here in this uh, last race in the quarterfinals two laps to go now into the final lap Evgenia Radanova the battle on for that second place and it's one that looks like she's going to get there she does indeed it's Haikyung Won for the Republic of Korea that gets that uh, second place but again you around and over fantastic stuff 45.763 her time there in that uh, 500 meters very very impressive indeed just glances over her shoulder out of the final bend well, brilliant performance we've got the men's quarterfinals coming up in a moment or two we're going to take a short commercial break just to catch our breath we join us in a moment or two for the men's competition look at him a lake 18 so you've got your own shoe huh Just believe in yourself. Next time there are rioters, shoot them. In a turbulent time, a tyrant took whatever he desired. I'm a young king, but I am king. You will burn in hell. He thought no one could take his place, but he was wrong. We will replace the king. Fire! You're surrounded by intrigue, by danger. I love life. One for all. And all for one. Welcome back. So uh, on to the action in the men's competition. That's the lineup for the first of the quarterfinals in the 500 meters. The situation going into the 500 meters. Mark Gagnon for Canada is leading with five points. Won in the opening round of 1500 meters yesterday. Yesterday, Fabio Carter from Italy in second place with Dong Sung Kim for the Republic of Korea in third, and Satoru Tarao 
for Japan in fourth place. So the lineup for this first heat, there is uh, the leader, Marc Gagnon from Canada. Fourth in the Winter Olympics at this distance, Bell in the final. Jun Huan Lee for the Republic of Korea, ranked at number two in the world, lying in ninth place here, Kai Feng. The world record holder in the 1500 meters ranked fifth in the world. Michel Antinoli from Italy, 15th coming into this and uh, Los Gos from France, 22nd place for him. A lot of uh, pushing there at the beginning, the Italian throwing his arms around but uh, it's Kai Feng that goes straight out in front so Feng leading with Lee in second place for Korea the Italian Antinoli in third place Mark Gagnon looking for a way around the outside now he's up into fourth place Mark Gagnon very very strong indeed but he's got a lot of work to do now Hyun Won Lee lying in ninth place ranked number two in the world leads at the moment Kai Feng in second place, Gagnon up into third. Mark Gagnon now, what can he do into this final bend? Wide into the bend, hugs the line, comes up the inside, a big lunge for the line there from uh, Mark Gagnon. But uh, it really was a physical race. Yun Huan Lee for the Republic of Korea wins the, the race. Kai Feng looking second all the way. Mark Gagnon right up the inside pushing his way through up to the line and we'll have to see what the judges have to say about that well, I can tell you that uh, it's Yun Won Lee wins Kai Feng in second place and a disqualification for the leader Mark Gagnon so no points for the Canadian in this 500 meters disappointment for him and a disqualification for kicking out so Yun Huan Li for Korea into the semi-finals Kai Feng for China joins him we look at this again Mark Gagnon has so much ground to make up after a bad start there is confirmation of that disqualification for Mark Gagnon and he will be bitterly disappointed no doubt about it well, that's the lineup for the next race. Fabio Carter, the European champion for Italy. Maya Tamura from Japan, lying in equal fifth place. Finalist in the 1500 meters yesterday. There's Carter, the European champion. Matt Jasper going for Great Britain. Silver medalist in the European Championships in 1996. In front of medalist. Won a gold in the uh, European relay team, both in 97 and 98. There, Noya Tomura for Japan, lying in fifth place. Jasper right up against the boards. The Italian Fabio Carter next to him. On the inside, Francois Drolet and uh, Evgeny. Yakolev right in the middle with uh, Tomura for Japan next to him in the black strip. Oh, but it looked to me as though Yakovlev uh, was a little bit quick off the start there. Look at that again, indeed he was. So one full start for Evgeny Yakovlev for the Ukraine. In 22nd place. He knows how important that start is. Let's get it right this time. Carter quickly into position. Better start. Carter blisters his way into the first curve. But, uh, Carter very, very wide down in third place and struggling to hang on to that. Noya Tomura, it is leading with uh, Yakovlev right up there, but uh, down now. Drolet in second place, Carter in third, and uh, Matt Jasper, well, he's in third place now, doing well, remember that uh, 
two to qualify as they go into the final lap. Jasper needs to be right up there in contention. Carter in second place. Drolet leading. Carter in second place. And uh, Jasper very wide out of that final bend. So Francois Drolet for Canada goes through with Fabio Carter, the European champion. Drolet lying down in 15th place, looking for some points here. Matt Jasper doesn't make it through into the semi-finals. You see, trying to keep his line wide out of that final curve. And uh, Carter really making sure you can see him just pushing the skate forwards in case Matt Jasper managed to get some extra speed out of that final bend. So Carter and Drolet join Feng and Lee from the uh, first of the quarterfinals into the semifinals. So that's the lineup for the next quarterfinal. Eric Beda for Canada. Dong Sung Kim. Lying in third place, ranked number one in the world. Watch out for him. There's uh, Yulong An, silver medalist in the Winter Olympics, lying down in seventh place at the moment. So uh, another skater looking for valuable points here. Nicola Francescina from Italy and uh, the tall figure of Martin Johansson from Sweden. This is Korean Dong Sung Kim. Eric Bedard, ranked number nine in the world in the 500 meters for Canada. He's uh, on the inside there. The tall Swede right in the middle. Keep your eye on uh, Yulong An, closest to the barrier, to the left of the screen. And this is China for Italy there. almost sense the tension but uh, safely away and uh, down goes Martin Johansson seemed to just uh, trip over the front of his skate took out Nicola Francicina from Italy let's watch that again you can see him really trying to push forwards with the body weight and uh, because there's a fall there before the apex of the first bend the uh, skaters will be called back and you can see there Francicina just taking this opportunity to tighten up his skate important to uh, make sure that they're right the Swede just checking that there's no chips on the skate uh, it's important of course to keep the edge Quick patch up to the ice there I'm pretty sure he, he was right over the front of the skate and that will for sure have made an indentation into the ice surface and uh, most important that the officials here sort that out before the restart Dong Sung Kim just looking relaxed and taking the opportunity to get into his rhythm so they line up again and for China, Frances China for Italy, Johansson for Sweden, Beda for Canada, and Kim for the Republic of Korea. And Safely away this time, and uh, again, you can see there Johansson really fighting for his place, but he's right at the back at the moment. And Eric Beda for Canada taking advantage of that. Beda right out in front. He's got about a four or five meter lead now up on the Korean Dong Sung Kim. Kim with a lot of work to do. And you can see Johansson right at the back of the pack. Yulong An in third place, two laps to go. Still out in front, Eric Beda for Canada. Grits his teeth now. And uh, oh, and you can see the Korean Dong Sung Kim coming up alongside and uh, Yulong An now out in front Francina for Italy in second place Johansson in third well what will happen there Eric Beda taken out there by the Korean and you can see he did well to slow himself down and uh, really take as much load off of the impact as possible well no doubt about first and second place the winner Yulong An taking advantage of the mishap there from the Canadian Nicola Francescina for Italy 
in second place. But uh, Dong Sung Kim for Korea. There's the uh, winner. The Korean taking out Eric Bedar. And in this race, there is a disqualification for so number 29. A disqualification Dong for Dong Sung Kim for impeding, no doubt about that. And uh, Bedar will make it through to the uh, semi-finals. And rightly so, because he's made much of the early running in that race. The official result of this race gives a first place for Jung Long An in a time of 42. There's confirmation Kim disqualified. That's close to the world record. The second Long An 42.998. Good result there. From uh, Italy in 43.308 and place number three. And another look at that uh, collision. And Kim seemed to catch one of the blocks there, didn't he? Got very, very close, just lost that inside edge. Did he know where to go? So, on to the final quarterfinal. And there, Nicky Gooch for Great Britain going in this one. Gooch lying in ninth place. Bronze medalist in the uh, 94 Olympics at this distance. Five times British champion. Up against uh, Satoru Torao there from Japan, lying in fourth place. That's uh, Jihu Che. Eighth place for him. Winner of the B final in the Olympics, the 94 Olympic champion. Looking to regain that form. No doubt about that. Nicky Gooch did uh, an incredible effort. If you didn't see that earlier on today, in the heats was uh, miles off the pace and uh, in the final lap just found an incredible turn of speed and was able to qualify so Torao for Japan Juan for China Che for the Republic of Korea Davis Stieg for Holland Nicky Gooch for Great Britain and uh, out in front is Juan for China and again Nicky Gooch really off the pace and uh, in this kind of field I can't honestly believe that he's going to get that back dreadful start from him as uh, Tarao moves around the outside and uh, coming up the inside there for Korea Che Ji Hoon couldn't quite make it through Yi Huan hanging on in there well, Nicky Gooch for Great Britain closing the gap but uh, he's left it too late into the final bend now, Satoru Torao is going to win this one, it's close at the finish. Well, Che Ji Hoon looking for a way through up the inside, but it's Yi Huan for China that gets there. So uh, the winner there, Satoru Torao, lying in fourth place, looking for more points here. Ranked number two in the world, Yi Huan for China. Ranked 13th overall in the world, but uh, a good performance from him. And uh, sensing that the Korean Che Ji Hoon was coming up the inside and just closed the door. The second place for and that's the end of the quarterfinals. We've got the ladies' semi-finals coming up in a moment or two. Another look at uh, Tarao there, making his move round the outside and uh, in turn earning his place in the semi-finals. We're going to take a break now. The ladies' semi-finals coming up in a moment. Welcome back. You rejoin us here in Vienna. If you have just joined us, it's the World Short Track Speed Skating Championships, and uh, we're into the final stages, well, almost, of the ladies' 500 meters. It's the semi finals now. Amir Yang Yang from China, the leader from the 1500 meters yesterday. And just to remind you that. Uh, there's five points for a win, three for second place, two for third, and one for fourth. And Yang Yang A won the 1500 meters yesterday with Chun Lu Wang for China in second place, Radunova for Bulgaria in third, and Yuni Kim for the Republic of Korea in fourth place. The lineup for this first semi final then Yang Yang A, the leader and world champion for China. Hong Kyung won. Third in the World Championships. Marinella Cantini, ranked number nine in the world, the European champion, and Canada's Annie Perot. The 
Olympic champion and looking for a good start here. Annie Perot straight out in front with Cam Cleaney, the European champion, in second place. So Perot leading and a faller there. Well, that was the Korean Haikyung won. And that very, very surprising indeed. Cam Cleaney almost losing an edge there as well. Perot it is that leads for Canada. So, Annie Perot leads, Marinella Canclini in second place and looking for a way past around the outside. The bell now, still Perot out in front, it's a real battle for that second place. Two through into the finals and down goes Yang Yang. So Canclini now can just coast home. Well that was an incredible race. Canclini I don't think can believe her luck. Both uh, Haikyong won. Third in the world, that's the uh, demise of Yang Yang, the world champion. And leading after the first race of 1500 meters. And uh, no place for her into the finals of this 500 meters. Marinella Canclini from Italy going through along with Annie Perot for Canada. Great stuff. The Olympic champion into the finals. So Annie Perot, Olympic champion, no points for her in the uh, opening round of 1500 meters, so looking for points here in this 500. So the lineup for the next race, there's Radanova in incredible form, lying in third place in the 1500 meters yesterday very very unexpected there Chundu Wang for China in second place ranked number two in the world you would like to bet on her not making it through but uh, we've already seen some surprises Yang Yang not in the finals Haikyung won not there either. It's uh, Radanova right up in contention. Marina Palieva from Russia, European champion in 94 and 96 in this uh, second semi final as well. With Lee Kyung Chun for the Republic of Korea, the joint world champion with Yang Yang. Let's hope that's not a bad omen. Palieva for Russia on the inside next to her Radanova and the Korean and uh, on the outside Chunlu Wang and Wang it is that goes straight into the lead with Evgenia Radanova right up in contention and uh, the surprising thing is that Lee Kyung Chun is really struggling and way way off the pace Chun the joint world champion really struggling here Chunlu Wang just managing to uh, stave off Virginia Radanova, but Radanova right up with her at the bell. Radanova looking for a way through now. Well, she must sense that she's safe because uh, Palieva is well behind. Palieva closing up on that final bend, but uh, no doubt about it, Chun Lu Wang wins that one into the finals along with Evgenia Radonova and what a championship Radonova's having just look at her here really matching the pace of uh, Wang and uh, Palieva closing up out of that final bend and uh, a shake of the fist there from Evgenia Radonova rightly so tremendous result she's into the finals so uh, the lineup for the finals will be Annie Perot from Canada, Marinella Canclini from Italy, Virginia Radanova and Chunlu Wang. Well, that finishing time from uh, Wang, very, very quick indeed, just a tenth of a second behind the world record. 
Conditions here very, very good indeed. It's now back to the men's competition and uh, the semi-final for the men. That's uh, Yulong An from China, silver medalist in the Olympics at this distance. Fabio Carter, the European champion in this one as well. We Francois Drolet from Canada. And uh, Kai Feng, the world record holder in the 1500 meters. Confirmation of the lineup. So Carter first to the line again on the inside there. Carter for Italy. Next to him, Francois Drolet from Canada. Then the two Chinese hitters, Kai Feng and Yu Long An. At the start. So for a place in the finals. And uh, the tension there. The start crucial and a uh, little bit of movement from Francois Drolet. I think it was and uh, Fabio Carter looking across. So again Carter first to the line. A little bit of a pause here. Carter looking bemused by the whole situation but uh, takes the opportunity just to flex the muscles. Once again, they line up. Carter and Filet and Feng safely away this time. Carter very, very fast up the inside, but uh, well, it was second place into the curve. Came out in the lead, but back down into second again. So Kai Feng for China leading with uh, Fabio Carter for Italy in second place. Yulong An in third. And at the back of the moment, it's uh, Francois Rollet leaving himself an awful lot to do. Remember, two skaters make it through into the finals. Carter just concentrating on the skater behind him. Yulong An, very, very experienced, looking for a way through the inside there on the final lap now. Still out in front. Kai Feng for China. Fabio Carter for Italy in second place. And uh, Yulong An very, very wide out of the final bend. Rollet taking advantage of that, moves up into third place. But uh, no place for him in the finals. It's uh, Fabio Carter along with Kai Feng into the finals. Francois de Rollet just raises his arms to his coach as if to say, well, what could I do? Where could I go? We look at that again. Carter. Very exciting indeed, looking for a way up the inside there and lunges once again for the line. Didn't quite make it, I don't think, in front of Kai Feng. Kai Feng crossing the line ahead, but really making sure that uh, there was no place for Francois de Rollet or Yulong An. Well, it was An down in fourth place, uh, Francois de Rollet in third, but... Uh, no real consolation. But here's the lineup for the next race. Satoru Tarao for Japan. Lying in fourth place, ranked number two in the world. For Korea, we've got Yun Kwon Lee. Right. Number two in the world as well. Fifth in the World Championships last year. Yeah. Francis Cina from Italy. Really in good form this season. Vidar there in the background for Canada. 11th place looking for a good result here. And uh, Yi Huan for China. So five skaters in this final, and uh, Eric Bedar, of course, getting a, an advantage through into this semi-final. So two skaters here will join Fabio Carter and Kai Feng from the first of the semi-finals. Once again, the start absolutely crucial. 
Yugi Juan on the inside, making sure that he doesn't get uh, Silence at the start, please, ladies and gentlemen. crowded and a uh, little bit of tension here in Vienna. Safety away this time. Eric Bedar looking very, very strong away from the gun. So it's Bedar leading with Satoru Torao in second place. These two pulling away from the field already. Eric, Eric Bedar very, very strong. Great start, just what he wanted. And uh, Torao hanging on with him in third place at the moment. Yi Juan. Two laps to go now. Right at the back, the Italian. And a tremendous move there from Nicola Francescina. Eric Bernard still leading, and Francescina just comes through on the outside. Well, that was a very, very quick race indeed. And what about that result from the Italian? Eric Bernard did so much of the running early on and uh, really took the race right from the gun. But uh, a brilliant final lap from the Italian, and uh, I'm not sure whether his skate actually crossed the line ahead. We'll look at it again. Eric Bedar for Canada. Very, very quick, and the Italian right up into second place. Comes round the outside, keeps the speed going, and uh, I think he crosses the line ahead from that body language there. A tremendous result. Very, very fast indeed, and that is a new world record, 42.543. Tremendous stuff. Francis China wins the world record. So on to the finals now of the ladies' 500 meters. There for China, Chunlu Wang. And there the Bulgarian lying in fourth place of Ginia Radanova, but uh, incredible form, no doubt about it. Marinella Canclini, European champion. And uh, the Olympic champion at this distance, Annie Perot. So this is the battle for the points. Five for a win, three for second, two for third, and one point for fourth place. Safety away, Chun Lu Wang lying in second place after the 1500 meters, looking for points here, and she goes straight into the lead. So Chun Lu Wang for China leads with uh, Annie Perot, the Olympic champion, in second place. Marinella Canclini, the European champion, in third. Radanova in good form at the back of the pack at the moment, but looking for a way around the outside. Can't make any impression at the moment. Gaining speed on Canclini, still out in front. It's uh, Chun Lu Wang, and she's holding off the Olympic champion, Annie Perot. Perot still in second place, the bell this time round. Chun Lu Wang leading in this final lap. Perot looking for a way past. Perot in second place, Canclini in third. But Wang's going to get there, Wang gets there. And uh, Annie Perot, the Olympic champion, in second place. Marinella Canclini, the European champion. In third, Evgenia Radanova. Well, she kept with the field. Incredible form. But she finishes in fourth place. So uh, five points for Wang to go with the three points that uh, she won in the 1500 meters. Three points for Annie Perot from Canada. Two points for Canclini and a point for Radanova. So the situation uh, now in the ladies' competition, Chun Lu Wang leading overall with eight points, Yang Yang A with five in second place, Radanova still in third place with those three points, but joint third now with Annie Perot, Canclini in fifth with two points, and Yunmi Kim in sixth with just one point. A very, very exciting final indeed. And uh, well done to uh, Wang for keeping the Olympic champion at bay there in second place. So Wang looking good for this world title. Really giving the uh, Chinese supporters here something to shout about. Not a great crowd again. It was uh, pretty sparse yesterday. I was hoping that uh, today we'd see a few more people here.
but uh, not to be. Well, that's the lineup for the men's finals. It is just uh, warming up. So for Canada, we've got Eric Bedard, he won for China. Two Italians, Fabio Carter and Nicola Francis China. Now the world record holder. There's Fabio Carter, the European champion, just uh, getting his composure. Kai Feng from China there. As first, we present to you the European it's champion, one. Fabio Carta, from Italy. So here he is, Fabio Carta, uh, looking very relaxed, but you can be Fabio sure Carta. that uh, the old butterflies and will be rumbling China around his stomach. Oskina, Kai, Kai Feng, world record holder in the 1500 Italy, meters. The world record holder on this distance, Nicola Francescina. So the new world record holder, doesn't that sound Italy, good? Nicola Francescina. Nicola Francescina, of Italian. From Canada, what Eric can he Bedard. do here? Eric Bedard from Canada. And from China, Great job Yi in the semi finals. And uh, on the inside, Yi Huan. So, silence in this uh, arena for the men's 500 meter final. Four and a half laps of the track. Oh, well, that's a full start if ever I saw one. Eric Bedar anticipating the gun. <laughs> a little bit of confusion over which line to uh, to use, and uh, oh dear, second full start. And uh, number 23, you can see there, he won after uh, all that controversy with Eric Bedard. Didn't have his concentration for the start. They've got to keep focused. So for the third time now. The men's 500-meter final. Feng, Bedard, Juan, Carter, and Francis Gina. That's more like it. A bit of a slip there from Eric Bedard, but he's uh, first into the opening corner. A dreadful start from Fabio Carter. Carter with an awful lot of ground to make up now. And uh, surely there's nothing he's going to be able to do about this. Gritting his teeth, Eric Bedard right out in front. The two Chinese skaters hot in pursuit. I think it's Feng that's in second place, just looking for a way up the inside. Indeed it is, Feng in second. One. In third, and Feng makes his way through. Eric Bedard got his weight way too far back then. Did well to stay on his feet. So uh, Bedard hanging on to that second place, but Feng right out in front, 42-48, and that very, very quick indeed again. Well, Kai Feng, the winner. And that looked to me to be very, very quick. Eric Bedard finishing in second place. Yi Huan for China in third. Fabio Carter with a dreadful start fought his way up into uh, fourth place. And uh, Francis China, the new world record holder, had a fall in there. So there it is, Kai Feng for China, world record holder in the 1500 meters, and uh, I think it's a world record. If uh, my calculations are right, he's won, got the world record here in the 500 meters as well. There's a look at the start again, and you can see Carter thought that uh, there was going to be a full start there. So it, confirmation, it is a new world record for Kai Feng from China. Brilliant stuff. So we've seen the world record broken in the semifinals and now in the finals here. So five points for Kai Feng. Eric Bedar gets three points. One, two points going to Yi Huan for China and a point to Fabio Carter. The situation then, Marc Gagnon and Kai Feng joint leaders with five points. Carter in, sec in third place with four points. Eric Bedar in fourth with three points. Two of the skaters have two points. That's uh, Don Sung Kim and Yi Huan. And Satoru Torao 
has just one point in Vienna here for the World Short Track Speed Skating Championships. My name's Chris Howarth, and for the next couple of hours, we'll sit back and enjoy some of the fastest men and women on ice. It's the final day of our coverage of these championships, and uh, we're live all afternoon. And the skaters have already competed in the 1500 meters and the 500 meters this afternoon it's the semi-final stages of the 1000 meters and uh, a little later on we've got the uh, final event in the individual category the 3000 meters and the finals of the relay as well well the ice has been resurfaced in readiness for this uh, semi-final stage and uh, as I said before, we are live. It's going to be very, very exciting this afternoon, not only uh, for you back home watching this, but uh, for us in the commentary positions as well. That's the uh, overall classifications after two rounds. Chunlu Wang for China, leading with eight points from a second place in the 1500 meters and uh, a win in the 500 meters. Yang Yang A in second place with five points that's from the win in the 1500 meters in the first day of the championships two skaters in third place in the ladies event virginia radanova who has been outstanding here third in the 1500 meters fourth in the 500 and uh, looking good in the 1000 meters i have to say she was uh, great in the quarterfinals and uh, annie perot in third as well for canada second in the 500 meters in the men's competition, we'll uh, have that coming up in a moment or two. It's Mark Gagnon leading there. He's joint first place with Kai Feng. Gagnon, silver medalist last year, won the opening round, the 1500 meters. Kai Feng won the 500 meters with a blistering skate, breaking the world record there. Fabio Carter in third place, the European champion.